be live streaming, I just decided, hey, we're gonna ramble. Um, as always, I come with a little bit of a topic and if people decide to show up and ask me questions, then we can diverge into questions. Um, but as an introduction, hi, my name is Michelle. Um, this is Actuarial, my Actuarial YouTube channel. Um, I am a property and casualty actuary and have been working for over seven years full time. And the topic of today is that I, for the first time in over seven years, have signed up for a university course and will be taking a course this summer. And I just wanted to talk about it, talk about what I'm going to be studying, why I'm studying, um, what I'm doing, what the plan is, all that good stuff. Um, so if you're interested, say hey, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, I don't know. Um, if you're not interested, well, not sure why you clicked on the video, but like, good on you, I guess. Um, and let's talk about it. So, um, I finished university December 2014, so it's been a while. We are summer 2022 now, so it's been a bit. Um, I got my fellowship in, my, or my last actuarial exam was like April, May 2017. Yeah, so I've been um, a fellow of the Casualty Actuarial Society for five years. Um, and once you become a fellow, you have to do continuing education hours. So there are plenty of things that you can do. I mostly do it through webinars or meetings with other people in the company, you know, learning about different things that are going on in the industry, reading different articles and whatnot. And there are so many infinite things that I do um, want to learn about or should learn about um, that are related to being an actuary, um, all sorts of things, things like, um, learning Python and, and just data science, machine learning, um, how to actually do the coding for that has been on my to-do list for over three years and I just <laughs> never get around to it. There are different businessy things that I could definitely benefit from learning about, um, things like uh, blockchain or internet of things, like so many things that I could be learning about that would benefit my career. And for probably well over a year I've been looking at the various universities in Toronto and, and looking at all their continuing education offerings and asking myself what course would I want to be taking and what's interesting and there are so many things that seem interesting do I want to go um the direction of something practical like cooking um do I want to go in the direction of something uh, very job oriented that's been on my to-do list like learning python or machine learning or doing some sort of data science boot camp um do I want to do something that's uh, creative and fun, like a pottery class? And the course that I settled on um, was copywriting. Uh, copywriting that sells, which my dad asked me, you know, what is, what's copywriting? Um, I'm not an expert. I've never taken a copywriting course in my life. Um, but my understanding is that copywriting is a, is, it's the, the words in, in advertisement. Um, so I've never taken a marketing course in my entire life. I don't know anything about it, but I think it would be interesting. When I was in university, I studied actuarial mathematics and I had to take just a ton of math classes, and a ton of financing classes. And by the end of my degree, I was so fed up with math. Um, I love math, I love numbers, I love playing with them, I love data, um, but it was too much. I needed something different. And I used one of my elective courses to take a creative writing class and it was so much fun just to do something different, be in a different space with different people, um, to, to awaken a part of my brain that I wasn't using. Um, and that's sort of what I wanna do, again, with taking this copywriting class. I chose it for a few reasons, um, one of which is that on my development plan as an actuary is that I wanted to develop my like persuasion skills. Because often, the techniques that I use to persuade people, um, to my point of view, is just like yelling my arguments and just like being like, these are the facts, agree with me. And if people don't agree with me, um, I've pretty much exhausted all my resources. Like, that's really all I, all I know how to do to, to get people to think the way that I think. Um, it's just being like, this is what's happening. Um, and obviously, uh, the persuasive techniques that they use in, in ad copy and in marketing are not necessarily identical to the persuasive techniques that one would use when one is trying to convince someone of like my actuarial assumptions. But I suspect that there's overlap. 
And I also just think it'd be interesting to understand what marketers do, to understand how they write copy, what they're trying to do. So that was that was kind of a, a driving factor of let's learn to be persuasive. Let's learn about marketing. I've never done it before. Um, another thing that I really that really drove me to sign up for any course was that I needed an excuse to leave my house. I've been working from home for over two years. I I'm going to start going into the office once, maybe twice a week. I'm thinking um, right now I'm in my childhood bedroom. Hey, what's up? Um, so there's a stuffed unicorn in the background and it's not in my grown up professional adult apartment. It's in my childhood bedroom. Hey, um, but I work from home and I'm not around people and really my social circle in Toronto, which is where I live, is only people, um, who I work with and I don't see them very often. So even if I don't make lifelong friends in this, um, copywriting class, It'll just be nice to be in a room of people who are different, to talk to people who I'm not usually talking to, to get different perspectives. Um, so that was a real big motivator, was picking a, an in-person course, which wasn't an option, you know, two years ago, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, but now that we can be in person and, and see people face to face, that's something that really motivated me to to go back and, and do a course, is to be in a room of people that I don't currently know. Um, and to uh, talk with people. I wanted to work on my writing skills and I could be mistaken, I have not taken the course, but I didn't want to have to write essays. And I believe that copy and copywriting should be short form writing and therefore I won't have to necessarily write out essays, but hopefully like more short form punchy things. Um, and because it's not for my career, or for my resume, and this is a course I'm taking for me, like I can fail this class. Um, I would not be happy with myself if I failed the course just because I stopped going or didn't try. Like that, I wouldn't be proud of myself about, but I wouldn't mind if I failed the class just because like, it's not my skill set, but I still took the time to learn and pay attention and try. And just because I don't have the cleverness, like. I don't think that makes me a bad person. It's still like interesting for me to learn and interesting for me to attend. Um, so I don't really care about the grade. I don't even know if this course is graded. I imagine there's at least some sort of a pass fail situation. Um, it's supposedly taught by someone who is like an actual professional copywriter. So, you know, hopefully there'll be interesting insights into the real world and how it works. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. A colleague was messaging me today and he said, you know, be prepared to be a decade older than your classmates, which fair enough. Um, it's a continuing education course. I don't know if it is combined with people in undergrad. Uh, so I don't know if like everyone's going to be 20 and I'm going to be the 30 year old lady <laughs> in the back of the room with no, no one to talk to. Um, but given that it's a continuing ed course, I assume there'll be at least a couple people my age around. Um, I'm excited. Like I, I'm excited to do something different because all I've done the past two years is just sit around my apartment and you know, I just, I took life day by day and I wrote up my gratitude lists and I, um, for the most part stayed mentally well and I'm really proud of myself for that. And for the most part I stayed healthy, which I'm really happy about that. And my family's healthy and I'm so grateful for her. <laughs> For the past two years but I I can't say that I did anything like I, I worked the last two years I did some yoga the last years I went on walks I went out on dates with uh, you know a million men <laughs> got rejected by a million men um you know <laughs> that's a whole other story we could talk about my dating life forever because I have been out on so many dates but yeah we're not gonna get into that because no one cares about my dating life um, but <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't accomplish anything in the last two years. I can't, I can't look and, um, I can't look at the last two years and be like, I did this. I accomplished this. And at least the, one of the nice things about university is it provides structure. It provides like goal, accomplishment. And I'm, I'm excited about that. 
I guess. I'm excited that at the end of the summer I can say like, I did this course, I learned a thing, I set a goal, I accomplished a goal. Yeah, anyway, I'm just proud of me um, for signing up. I'm excited for what's gonna happen this summer. Uh, class starts in like three weeks, I think, two, two, three weeks. So I have a little bit of time to mentally prep and buy myself some cute notebooks and pens and stuff to be able to take notes. I don't know if everyone brings a laptop or people actually pen and paper write, but I plan to uh, write with a pen and paper because I'm 30 and old. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is what I want to talk about today. I hope you have a lovely day, go for a lovely walk, and um, I'll talk to you later. Thank you for calling. Bye.